Tin Man Games presents, um, with the assistance of Screen Australia, a fighting fantasy adventure, which is neither a fighting game nor a fantasy game. Steve Jackson's appointment with fear. Uh, <laughs> I, I I know I've been clicking. <laughs> press A. Yeah, I'm pressing A and it's not doing anything. Um, that's the keyboard. That's, yes, I'm pressing A on the keyboard and it does nothing. I suppose I could, well, it does, anyway. Um, Robert has played this game yep. and uh, has shown me his recordings of this game. Yep. And for some reason, this has made me want to give it a try. Also, the fact that there are achievements and Steam cards that I could get. Yes. And thankfully, um, giving it a try without, uh, thankfully without paying money for it. At least any more than I already have. Yeah, because we are using Steam Family Sharing, which is totally a thing. Yay, we family right. and share. I may not read everything, so I'm actually going to skip past this stuff. We've done this a couple times. Um, I have, uh, I have messed around with the introduction to this a little bit. Uh, birth certificate. <laughs> I am apparently a boy. <laughs> Why would they flip those? <laughs> they flip everything just to fuck with you. Just so that if you if in the course of your your experience playing video games and using computers, you are used to seeing the same options in the same order and you begin to develop habits of going to the same place every time on a consistent basis, just so that they can fuck with you. Um yep. <laughs> it's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. Because otherwise this is like a multiple choice test and they want to try and make sure that you're paying attention. Um, so I'm I'm actually going to just... You know what? Let's just pick random shit. <laughs> These guys' poses are ridiculous. And apparently, apparently the male actually gets more than one potential body. That's not the body that you had in your run, isn't it? No. Um, if you notice the... Um the, uh, the, the chick, when we accidentally picked the, uh, the wrong thing last time, it was also a different body. Okay, this guy can be Radiant Memory. I'm not using him anyway, because no restart from the beginning. I want to be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> we created Radiant Memory. No one shall remember that. <laughs> of course, well, he will be a Radiant Memory on the YouTube video. <laughs> Yay! Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, um... Maybe he'll even get a predominant, like, I wanted to move objects with my brain and read people's minds. And we'll also be looking for a specific body type. I'm going to be using this head again. And, uh... Yes, I, I have delicious ribs. You don't like ribs? Oh, I love like, edible ribs that aren't, like, jutting up and below the I really hope they can hear you. Um, Me too. Speedy Dread, complete scientist. Complete scientist. <laughs> Nothing else. Sliding smash. Commandant Cat. None of these. Doctor Dueler. Dueler. Doctor Dueler sounds pretty cool, actually. Dueler. The Blank Moth. I thought that's a black moth. There you go. Foggy River. <laughs> Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Obscure Galaxy, none of those. The Mad Tarantula, that's tempting. Superlative 10,000! <laughs> Backward Spaceship! <laughs> if, if I find something that, that... Unique feeling... Unique feeling? The Capitalist! <laughs> no, there, there is... The, the Red Shirt! <laughs> There's no red on her shirt whatsoever. Foggy Griffin, the unsolvable skull hat. If you haven't figured it out, folks, it just gives you random names. There's one that came up in my first two creations of this character, and I'm looking for it again. Cornish Thinkomatic. No, I'm not going to be that cheesy. Pe pe petty Officer Indicator. A Petty Officer Indicator. 16-bit Steam Puncher. American Kick Puncher. The Indifferent Harbinger. Thin avalanche. The Aust Australian raven sounds pretty cool. Although, Qualified insect. <laughs> although in Australia they actually don't have, uh, or is it is it crows that they don't have? They have rooks, which are apparently a different species. Only in a straight line. <laughs> Random trivia: slippery device. Stabby the Jupiter. The only fireplace. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the 
the only fireplace. You know, I I am tempted by the only fireplace. That is that is dumb enough to be something interesting, but I'm not sure. You can find something better that doesn't feel like the like the name. I suppose not. Not Lucky Moth, the Demon Killer. That's pretty. The Common Scorpion. It's fucking Thackleeds the Mighty. That is Thackleeds the Mighty. That's that's an in joke between us. The uh, the Sage Scorpion, Death Touch, one one for green. Um, Magic the Gathering, you know stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the verbing free cows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't think that name would be great if she was just random. Whoops, just random fucking color. <laughs> you know what? I I I think I gotta give it the common scorpion because that's just so goddamn cool. The, the common scorpion being a uh, a, a superhero name. <laughs> it's like oh, I have superpowers, but I am common. Well, that's it. Cause she's her superpower is to fuck with your head, right? Okay. Okay, we're finally done. It's the morning, we're sitting at a kitchen table. You smile, which is apparently worthy of a text box. Evildoers beware, I am overconfident. Um, Titan City is safe. Robbie is belching. You are the common scorpion. Upholder of justice. You see, it's it's deceptive. It's it's there just to mess with people. Also, I can scroll this whole thing up and down. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Fucks off. <laughs> Time for <laughs> breakfast. Use your telekinetic power to place some bread in the toaster. And last time we did this, it gave us a fucking achievement. Yeah, it gives you it gives you a breakfast achievement for whichever of the four superpowers you decide to take. Um, he got the uh, he got the super fried eggs, and I got the toast. And goodness alone knows what the other two are. I, what what kind of breakfast does a super strength flying dude make? Does he like? Leg like drop something and make pancakes? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, what did he have for breakfast? The last known bi- uh, the, the last known bison. Our cards against humanity, folks. Uh, right, so radio transmission to Cryptor, which will never again be brought up, unless it is. And Dr. Steel. And Vladimir Utoshki. Stop the fear meeting, you have three days. Uh, it was lucky you caught this urgent message so early. It was lucky that the game is set up. Get a point for doing nothing. Uh, luck point. Lucky you. Fear here in the city. I must stop them. No. Prime time. Prime time. Courageous action do you take next, Common Scorpion? I will turn off my my mouse pad. <laughs> Sorry, I mean my laptop touchpad. Oh hey, it drops the it drops the the from the front of my name whenever it asks me a direct question. That's cool. I guess that's it's it's congratulations it's, game for getting that right. <laughs> <laughs> what courageous action do you want to take next, the common scorpion? Well, because it's what I did the first time, I'm gonna finish my goddamn coffee. Which also gave an achievement. Yes, the first copy the first coffee of a suit. We've we've got an addict here, folks. <laughs> Colombian filter blend. Uh, pick up your crime watch, Titan City. Yes, each clue you find gives you a luck point. Is it going to give me give me the same clue? Crime updates. No, it's not. This is not the same clue I got last. This is where I stopped last time, folks. So I can stop talking about last last time after this. A young boy known as the Brain Child is rumored to have vivid dreams which come to life. The boy's identity is Timothy Grant, and he lives on 100th Street. This is an issue that I had with this whole thing on your on your Let's Play of it. This this crime watch thing, it it's where is this information coming from? Uh, I think it's coming from the the one guy that I met in my game, Gary or whatever his name was. Gary. Oh, the the weird punk who lives in a cardboard box in the street. <laughs> He's got connections. <laughs> And apparently he's got a crime uploader thing, and he knows everything. <laughs> buy one, get one. What? Oh, buy one, get one. Yes, yes. Because if you buy one, you're not supposed to get one, right? Yes, not. So young Timothy Grant, the brainchild, is said to have vivid dreams that come to life. That sounds pretty cool, and it would be interesting if we can get anything to it. It sounds like a good case for the common scorpion. Let's let's see if the uh, oh god I hope she has the same I hope she has the same uh, the 
same outfit. It's the other guy, dude. And remember, she's late for work. We don't have to try and get there to stop her from being late for work. It's already a foregone conclusion. Let's solve some crimes and get it. <laughs> Check that I have all of my costume. Stand in front of the mirror, unbuttoning a couple of buttons of your work shirt. You check the your my work shirt. I uh, I have maybe no. It's just, maybe it's just the gooey that doesn't work. I have no buttons on my shirt. You're so vain. D d just because I'm a girl, of course. <laughs> Excuse me. That, that song. It's the song. You're so vain. I bet you think the song is about you. I'm just completing the thing. <laughs> That was unnecessary, dude. You straighten your collar, which I don't have, which enhances and amplifies your. Apparently, it's invisible. Do you see a collar? Unless it's that. Unless it's like my flipped-up costume collar, which has no buttons. Um, I have no buttons. Now, for one last thing, don your reporter outfit over your common scorpion costume so that nobody will recognize you on the streets. Oh my God, she gets a fucking hat. Why didn't my guy get a hat? She looks pimping in that hat too. It's good. It looks good on her. <laughs> she looks good in that JPEG of a hat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she looks good in that JPEG of a cat. Of a cat. <laughs> uh, cat and nobody cat. will know I am actually the common scorpion, <laughs> and not just another mild-mannered reporter. How many non-mild-mannered reporters are there? Like Everybody on Fox News. Yeah. And that one guy that uh, Stephen Colbert is pretending to be. Stephen Colbert. No, the other guy. He pretends to be Stephen Colbert. Well, he is Stephen Colbert, but he pretends to be Stephen Colbert. You know what I'm talking about. Bill O'Reilly! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Bill O'Reilly. Um, okay. There we go. I was right. <laughs> Wearing your incognito disguise, you had to work. With fear on your mind because you're paranoid, unite the Titan Unite the Toten City feels particularly taunts this morning. <laughs> <laughs> particularly taunts. Crime watch goes off. Crime alert? Hey! <laughs> it's Tiger Cat. Wait. No, I think that one's I think that one's always the same, dude. Uh, that's a pity. She's a fierce fighter, apparently. <laughs> that's Dude, that's no. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, like, if An argument interrupts my thoughts. What are you talking about? My thoughts are amazing. My thoughts will not be interrupted. I'm a fucking psychic! <laughs> it takes more than that to distract me. I won't ask you again. Mind your manners, you beast. I'm actually curious what's going on here. A newspaper vendor shared something about a robbery. Uh, there's a car horn. Okay, so this is... This is a... There's, there's, there's lots of choices. I can try to resolve the argument, check the robbery, check the car horns, or try to go to work. I, I'm curious about this argument. Let's see what's going on. Rapidly escalating. <laughs> they're not cats, they're people. An elderly businessman is yelling at a woman with an untrained dog. Is he using the untrained dog to yell? No, I'm sorry, it's just that I almost yet read that as a woman like an untrained dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, not How dare you just let your dog do that? It's disgrace. Oh, he, she probably, he probably shat on something or something like that. Him or the dog? The dog! Brucey's just a poor animal, don't you yell at him. A small crowd has built up around the man and woman. Raised voices are taking one side or the other, and the situation is beginning to look nasty. Dog poop. No, it didn't. I mean, why? <laughs> Stop it. Don't poop. <laughs> Everybody has to poop sometimes. Um. Nobody has to poop all the time. This seems honestly pretty inconsequential. She looks like she's going ah, cha 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 cha. <laughs> you know what? Fuck. I'm <laughs> gonna <to> work. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. We this, tried to do something. This is just a fucking pointless argument. Um, Jonah White is upset and raising an eyebrow. Um, he thinks you're attractive. <laughs> a squeal of tires in the street below, followed by a loud crash and traps. And what the devil was that? Two of you rush to the window. Yes, it crashed into a street lamp. And the back of the car is on fire, not the front. Yes, you covered that in your own. Though. Just making sure. <laughs> 
just making sure we all know. Uh, and yes. And change your yes. Straight is a way of putting it. <laughs> also, I noted this before. Her her shin is totally bent. She has suffered a terrible, debilitating injury, and she has curved shins. She's got on legs. It's a comic. So I could ignore the incident and go back to work and just trust the firefighters to do what they do. Because goodness knows that you just completely fucked this one up when you did it. Yes, and mental powers are going to help against a burning car how. Well you could you could like convince the fire to go elsewhere? <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> you could read its mind, see what it's thinking, and you know, you could calm it down. You could talk it down. It's like, you know, like um It's fire. It's it's a hostage situation. No, Why? it's no it's not. I'm going back to work. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get all the achievements. You settle back down at your desk. On the corner of your, th my desk is a newspaper open on page three. Uh, flick through the pages. The smoke is up to his old tricks again. Who's the smoke? Known agent of fear, the smoke is able to turn into a gaseous form to commit his. Gra Here you go. See, I'm I'm working while I'm working. I'm doing research on the real problem. I need to not get distracted by these petty things like arguments in the streets. And severe car accidents. You can never resist boasting about his crimes. Maybe that's why he's in the news. What a windbag. Cryptically announcing where he will strike next. I see what you did there. You. If only I can crack his latest clue. You could slip to El Greco's and try to work out the clue. But Jonah will be furious if you find out. What? Thank, thank goodness, <laughs> game, for your shitty syntax. Jonah will be furious if I find out what the clue means? <laughs> She's on to me. <laughs> I have a mountain of work. Um. I. I. I want to be able to take this to my lunch break. Why can't I go like, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, pocket this and go do deal with it later, like a sensible person would do. You can read Jonah's mind and see what's up with him. Maybe his. Uh, so maybe I should be able to mind control him into calming the fuck down and just giving me a raise <laughs> every time I don't come in the work. <laughs> Decking out to the diner and trying to figure out the clue. This is my style of thing. Figuring out clues, that should definitely be my thing. I'm supposed to be a genius, right? No, what sort of fish does not like the water? You'll find out when it next rains. What sort of fish does not like the water? Flying fish? No cod. No, that's not it either. It's an obtuse riddle. Only a crazy fish would not like water. A crayfish? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Done. Not really, but done. <laughs> crayfish live in the water, you piece of dunk. They're also not actually fish. They're well, they're shellfish. They're not only not. They're not only like. They're not fish. There is an eminent Dr. Crayfish who has recently. So apparently, this riddle. This riddle, the heart of this riddle, was that Dr. Crayfish is totally cray cray. That, that, that was the smoke's genius riddle. Wow. <laughs> this is, this is like, this is like if the 60s Batman Adam West thing was just like extra dumb. They had bad shark repellent. So. Was that actually a thing? Yeah, he's like hanging off of a off of a helicopter. He's like, so that a that shark trying to get at him, and he, he like pulls out the bat shark repellent and repels the shark. With it. So that that anti thing <laughs> repellent was actually a thing. Yes. The smoke suggested something bad would happen to Doctor Crayfish when it was raining. That's what that apparently meant. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Return from the diner with the paper tucked under your arm. 
Out I'm again? Vacation. You're not on vacation. Get back to work. I am. I am getting back to work. I'm doing my own work. I'm a superhero, you tit face. <laughs> He's not supposed to know that. He's my cover. Well, you got mind control powers. Just like kiss him and erase his memory. Sorry, that's that's a. Uh, I don't have to kiss him to do that. No, that's a reference to a Superman movie where apparently he kissed Lois Lane and made her forget that he was uh, that Superman was uh, was Clark Kent. The final sting. Why can't you be more like Common Scorpion? <laughs> Lunchtime rolls around and I go back to the same <laughs> diner. I kind of wish I could have been the apathetic storm in that one game. It's like, why couldn't you be more like the apathetic storm? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Apathy. I don't give a fuck. While you were eating, a chittering group of eggheads scramble into the booth next. Really? <laughs> yeah, eggheaded people. All right. Oh, it's these two again. They're not bald. I'm kind of egghead. Silence Laboratory mixes the aldehyde. I don't, I'm not even sure if they can. Let me check my phone. We're much safer out here. Sounds ominous. Well, no, it's it's fake science. It's it's comic book magic fake science. What do you expect it to be? The group security passes identify them as being from the biochemistry department only a block away. Pay your bill, leave quickly. Oh, I have to go to this one. From within the shop you are passing, a cry reaches you. Stop thief! So what do I do? <laughs> do I catch a thief or do I stop an explosion? This seems like a pretty obvious choice. Uh, the biochemist. Are an actual thing. It's not just for Interesting. Anyways, continue. At the biochemistry department, there are no signs of panic. Every seems everything seems like any other day. Walk casually down an alleyway and back to the reception area. I'm looking to meet Professor Murdoch. Oh, the common scorpion! Oh, common scorpion! Oh no, apparently that any time anyone addresses you. Yes, ma'am. Sure, right away. Let me see here. He's on the top floor, cr working on those crazy- those cray-cray aldehyde experiments. Is there a problem, ma'am? Four employees are bemused to see you enter, and you all silently ride upwards together. Four last time too. There's like they, they just. They're they're the they're the four from the aldehyde. <laughs> it is strangely uncomfortable. <laughs> Murdoch's lab. He's terrified. Please help. What's wrong? Don't My experiment it. has got out of hand. The temperature is building up. I fear I may have caused a disaster. Don't throw it out the window. <laughs> Unless I want to get the achievement. In the corner of the lab, a, com a complicated array of chemical equipment is shuddering. The bottle is boiling. It throw hands. it out the window. Smother it with your hands. Dude, cord. Rush off to look for a fire extinguisher, I guess. is probably going to be my... Why can you use your... Oh, wait. You Can you move objects with your mind? With yes. I'm supposed to be able to. <laughs> but I'm guessing if I throw it out the window, it's just going to try to make me use my hands anyway. I, I love the idea of her being like, holy fuck, I need to get rid of this thing. I'm going to throw it out the window. Psst, why didn't I use my mind powers? <laughs> it burns. Run down the, the, the fall way, looking for a higher extinguisher. There's not <laughs> one to be seen. Finally, you find one in an empty room and bring it back to the lab. You seal the, you break the seal and point it at the boiling bottle. Nothing happens. The fire extinguisher has not been serviced for two years. What the fuck is this? A public service announcement? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, game? This is bullshit. A wide smile has spread across Professor Murdoch's face. Did he drink it? Look, the temperature is dropping. The danger is over. The bottle has stopped its furious, furious bubbling and seems to be cooling down. Done! It's Done. a fucking false alarm! It's a red herring! Oh, what the fuck? I suggest You're in future... To save the world. You monitor your boiling f liquids more closely. Leave the building. Apparently I got a hero watch for that. A, he a hero point! <laughs> Is anything else happening? Of course not. No. Because you, nothing can be happening unless you have a conflict, and there's more than one thing happening. Okay, so I can use the menu. I can use the menu to check for clues or to check what my clues are. 
Uh, something bad could happen to Dr. Crayfish when it was raining. Timothy Grant is said to have vivid gr dreams that come to life. Tiger Cat can transform into a harmless tabby cat. Um, back to the story. Blah. With a stupid transition. What a day! Take a drink. Stamina points. My boss will be livid. Set off for work early. Travel on the subway. Okay. Now, this is all happening on the train, right? Yup. Half ass crime. Half, half ass crime, yes. Cowfield Dairy Fast. So that's the Tiger Cat. Yeah, we can go find Tiger Cat if we want to. Let's, let's do something else. Uh, it's only a block away from Cowfield Dairy. If you want to get there, get out now. Uh, aid the pickpockets victim. Because this will keep us on the train and we can solve some crime on the way to work. <sighs> Rush up to a puny looking bespectacled man who is shaking with fright. He points to a man running up through the next carriage. He's stolen my wallet. Race after him. They don't want to get involved. Test my skill! Sprint after the thief. My success! Yay! And we get into a fight. Yay! Put to the left arm. Ego hammer to the frontal lobe. Spawn a ghostly cardboard box. Well, I'm I'm curious. <laughs> apparently, I apparently, I want to summon Snake. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the fuck the sound effect is. I don't think it sounded like that. No. I I, I, I want to use an ego hammer to the frontal lobe. That sounds cool. Whammo! They see a vision of an oncoming car. In a train. <laughs> an oncoming car in a train, yes. <laughs> My wait, 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 wait. My ego hammer terrifies pickpocket. Pickpocket try. Oh, oh! I thought. I hope that was gonna be like some kind of status effect. Oh. Chop my big toe on the left foot. Specifically. He fails. I feel it cut the air because I'm not wearing boots. Of course. Knife hand to the knee. Whoa. So I just totally brought this guy down. I gained a fear card. You fucked that guy up hard. Yes. <clears throat> Chance of uncommon, 5%. Your luck, 4. Eh. Uh, just, just unwrap it. I got the Ice Queen! You have located breasts. I have, well, I, I have breasts. I'm female. Well, yes, but I mean, like, that picture was... The carriage floor. Commuters on the train spontaneously applaud. Thank you, ma'am. Haha, <laughs> thank you, sir. You're almost as good as the common scorpion. This kind of comment is going to show up every time you do anything when you're not in your costume, isn't it? I'm wearing a JPEG of a hat and some glasses. Of course I'm not the common scorpion. The, the common scorpion. What strange things he's carrying with him. Uh, so, the gum packet that contains a crumpled piece of paper sounds a lot more interesting to me, although the map, they all, probably each of them contain some kind of special clue. Uh, so you know what, I'll actually grab the map. Maybe that'll have something, either one of these could have something to do with what's going on tomorrow in the rain. Today in the rain, actually. It's a map of Titan City. Oh, that reminds me. This is more or less what it would look like. This is a map of Titan City. This is indeed a map of Titan City, and it, and there's these signposts, but apparently I can't actually look at anything. Oh, hey! Hey, I can scroll in. That's cool. Breakfast table. No! Well, that was a thing. <laughs> so apparently these are actually my checkpoints. At the office, biochemistry department... Uh, and I'm currently on that chapter? But yeah, this this is the cool thing. I can totally fuck with the GUI and make make the, the thing fuck off just by dragging the map. Look at it. Look at it. Look at do. Yeah, the Titan. I didn't see anything that fucks off and doesn't come back. Well, okay. Her. Spread the map out. It's well used. Fingers have been rubbing the printing off in one area and a small black cross marks the spot. That junction is 12th Street and 2nd Avenue. That's 14! But there's no clue on the map as to what this could be. Resume journey. 
get off to go to work. At the office, you try to settle into your desk discreetly. No such luck. Why? I'm there on time. I took the train. I got off the train at the right stop. No, no, you don't understand. It's not in the state. You, you have to get there late because it's part of the story. You can't stop that. No, that was the first day. It said that I got I got up early and I left to and that's why I was on the subway. Yeah. I took the subway early to get to work early and I stopped a thief on the train that was moving. Yes. And then I got off at the right stop. Yes. But it's still part of the story. I'm on time. I'm not late again. I'm on time. Oh, no, 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 that's what I mean. Shut like, your face. That, that's what I mean. It's not acknowledging the fact that you got there early because as far as the, I'm sorry. And I suppose if I ignored everything and just focused on getting to work, I would still be fucking late. I, I'm gonna have to test that. Start looking for another job. You know what? Fuck you. Taking care of this fear thing is more important. I should get a commission for that. You know what? Fuck you. I'm not coming in tomorrow. I need an achievement for the thing you can't prevent. Sink out of his office with my non-existent tail between my legs. How can I tell him what I've been doing? Write a newspaper article about it. Wisneyland Amusement Park. I want to go to the place on the map. Why is this not an option here? Clues. It's not even a clue! That's annoying. Why is it not a clue? Excuse me. What? What? Ah, uh, fuck. God damn it! <sighs> it's an irritating game. Okay. Let's. Fuck it. Let's go to Wisneyland. Because <laughs> this game is stupid. <laughs> this game is retarded and is poorly coded. What are you gonna do now? I'm going to Wisneyland! Wisneyland is swarming with holidaymakers enjoying. It's a holiday? The happiest place. What the fuck? Why are you getting. <laughs> <laughs> the balloons are freaking. I didn't know I could do this. Can I drag them? No, I can't. <laughs> there are screams of delight from children running about with glee. What a lovely afternoon. <laughs> fuck I'm, work. I'm supposed to be looking for a rainstorm or 12th and 2nd. That is a weirdly intimate picture. The smell of candy floss and hot dogs. Oh, that's a that's a mouth. <laughs> Over here, it looks like an eyeball. It looks like they're crying into a fucking bush. <laughs> what the fuck? Or like, or like crying into Pinkie Pie's hair. No. As you stroll about, youngsters clutching stuffed animals run laughing past you. Screams of delight from roller coaster. Yes, it's a thing. Seriously. Right at the Big Dipper. I think I have to get the space to do that. Sure. Climb into a carriage behind a couple with young daughter. It's time for something a bit more adventurous. I'm scared! Scaring the little girl? That face. The ride hasn't even started yet. It's them guys again. As you set off up the long climb, the excitement is mounting. Squeals come from the riders because they've all been turned into pigs. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Are we? It is not until you reach the first sharp bend that you notice the danger. There's danger? The girl's safety harness is fucked! <laughs> Quick, grope the little girl. I mean, don't. As you streak into the bend and are wrenched to the right, the harness snaps and the girl lurches across the carriage. Can you rescue her before she falls to- oh, it's a test skill. And it worked. <laughs> What is this accomplishing? What is this accomplishing? This accomplishes absolutely nothing. Why can I do this? <laughs> because it makes noises and things. You react quickly and save the young girl from a grisly fate. Without using your mind power. I haven't gotten a chance to use those once yet. Quick as a flash, you reach forward and grab the girl in the nick of time before she plunges to certain death. I gain two hero points despite being... I, I thought it was in costume. Thank you so much, you saved my life! I am in costume. I thought the hero pints was like my reputation as a hero. You decide you've had enough of Wisneyland for one day. Lame. Making my way 
way downtown. Okay. Way downtown to do some shopping, head home and rest. Spend the evening at the theater. I want to follow up on clues, goddammit. Sure, I'll go to the- Apparently I can only spend the day fucking around. <laughs> at the theater, I'm apparently in luck. A ticket for tonight's performance has just been handed in. Not the best seat in that. Handed in? By whom? The show is about a group of rats who live in a rubbish tip and sing to each other for amusement. That sounds like something that you've told me about. Rats that sing to each other? Cultured hero. Enjoy Lord Webb Andrews' latest musical. What a strange plot. Still, that Lola Manch is rather endearing. Recall, recall my memento. Oh my no one here but my lonesome, my sorrowful self. That looks so much like the, uh... That looks so much like the, 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 the... the Avatar thing from Contrast. Yeah, kinda. All of a sudden, the show is interrupted, of course. Oh, it's this! This is one of the things from, like, the, the shop page for this game. A strange man dressed in a serpent's costume appears on stage. That's odd, I don't remember reading about this in the reviews. My sweet Lola, you will be mine again. Ah! This is terrible! It is. Lola Manch has been kidnapped. Right in front of everyone. Time for the common scorpion to step into action. You find against a dark a, against a snake who has kidnapped a mouse. Yes, it's totally it's totally a furry performance. You find a dark corner in the back of the theater and change costume. <laughs> what do you do from here, Common Scorpion? Wait outside the theater for the kidnapper to make his escape. Um, remember your resolution. Decide against intervening and go home. At what point did I make a resolution to not be a hero? Well, that's what you get for being a hero. The fuck? I like the idea of, uh, I, I definitely want to do a pl I kind of want to do a playthrough of this game where I just, like, do nothing. Sure, why not? I'm probably going to want to see what happens if I do that, too. Uh, I think this, this seems smart. I'm going to wait outside the theater for the kidnapper to make his escape. Search for a good place to ambush the kidnapper outside. Test my skill. <laughs> success! Success! Check mark. Rape. <laughs> Mark. Right. <laughs> I'm raping the success chip mark. Anyway, I escaped the building waiting for the building building to make his escape. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's up and like just <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes later a door opens and a serpent headed man in a rough green green costume steps out holding Lola Manch in his arms. He was not serpent headed at all. Mm, it's part of the costume. Scream all you want, my dear Lola. No one can hear you. <laughs> Unhand, Miss Manch, this instant, you slippery snake. No, dude. Dude, I should have, like, I should have, like, mind-controlled him immediately and, like, just got, got him to put her down and walk away. Having caught his full attention, a wide grin spreads across his face. I don't get to actually use my superpowers at all. I'll accept it. Oh, he's got really cool eyes, though. Yeah. Dropping the girl, the serpent hisses menacingly. Well, 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 if it isn't the famous common scorpion, didn't, it's... Didn't stretch that S. That's because it's part of my name. It's bad luck to give flowers before the show, so I'll have this instead. What? The show is fucking over! You crashed it! Before I have a chance to... Re I set up the ambush! Before I have a chance to react, the serpent spits a glob of particularly nasty-looking spit at me. Test my skill again! It's possible to fail. Of course. Common Scorpion, look out. That is... Common Scorpion, look out. Common Scorpion, look out. Lola tries to warn me, but it's too late. The poisonous spit hits me. I set up this fucking ambush. What the fuck? Minus two to the skill points. Ew, that's gross. This is ridiculous. What can I say, Common Scorpion? I love to fight dirty. I set up the fucking ambush! <laughs> <laughs> oh, do look out, Common Scorpion! I am unhurt. I just suffered a skill point loss. The serpent is... Uh, has eight stamina... Oh! Stamina is your hit points! Okay. 
cr create a phantasmal suit of armor to inflict damage. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna kick him in the chest. I was gonna say, I love the blood just kicked in the chest. Right. I kick him in the chest. I inflicted two damage points. He stumbles from the kick. Uh, he has bruises on his chest. Fish sm fist smash me right at my forehead. I deftly back away from it. I rush forward for another attack, and I'm going to jump to the forehead. <laughs> the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the part of your brain that uh, I think it uh, does something to do with uh, with um, making sure that you're the right temperature. Uh, no, I'm gonna generate an imaginary boulder. That sounds cool. <laughs> Moving towards the serpent's hair. He has no hair. <laughs> That's a bald motherfucker. What are you doing? Of course you fucking missed. You aim for his hair. But you taste purple from the concentration. <laughs> what am I, grape flavored? <laughs> Got to concentrate. The serpent leans in with a kick to your right arm. And kicks me. I take two points of damage. I stumble in pain. The serpent flicks his tongue, focusing. <laughs> Project a seemingly real ton of ton of breaks. He'll never see this coming. Towards his kneecaps. This is bullshit. <laughs> These bizarre aim things are nothing. It barely leans away from my seemingly real ton of bricks. Chops me in the chest with a karate chop or something. The supervillains never do anything but easy attacks. Knee to the. That's very tempting. <laughs> that is very tempting. I'm totally gonna knee you in the fucking mouth. Yep. <laughs> Trumpet sound! <laughs> Shwee whoop! <laughs> See, he's gonna. With a throw to your toe. What is he throwing? What is he throwing? What, what what does it mean to land a throw? Grab to the left eye socket. No, that create an imaginary teapot. <laughs> I've gotta see this. <laughs> well, you can't not do it. <laughs> My imaginary teapot. No. It's a lot more fun than I thought it would be, and of course he lands all his attacks. That, that kick hurt. Electro fist to the cerebellum. I'm done fucking with you. Apparently not. Resists my electro fist. Is is my skill required to fight or something? He damaged my skill, and now he's just kicking my ass. Mind squeeze. Finally, woo woo woo! <laughs> they and see a, they see a vision of peace-loving hippies. Oh no! <laughs> My last attack is a mighty blow, which sends the serpent flying. Take that, you villain! I just earned a fear card. I really don't feel like I've accomplished very much. Assassin twenty. With red eyes. He looks like he has like little sushimi icons on his goggles. The serpent is reeling and goes flying backwards, crashing into a wall. He lays splayed on the ground, dazed and moaning. I still. This is such bullshit. I don't get to actually do. Like, the superpowers do nothing, they, they only give you a different selection of random words. The young starlet has picked herself up. Thank you so much, Common Scorpion. He kidnapped me right on stage. I'll rest easy when he's behind bars. We all will, Miss Mosh. But why would you ever consider dating such a villain in the first place? She probably didn't know. Well, you see, he has a lovely baritone. If only he'd pursue a career in opera instead. The, the serpent shakes off his dizziness and attempts to strike a bargain. Let's cut a deal. Some juicy info and I'll just slip out of here. Don't listen to a word he says. He'll be after me as soon as you leave. 
Don't worry, Miss Manch, I wouldn't. I've been sworn to I've sworn to uphold justice by not uh, interfering in crime, apparently, according to that resolution option. <laughs> the serpent hisses impatiently. I read it as impotently. What a sap. No fear secrets for you, then? Oh, we can get them from you. We can totally get them from you by interrogating you at the police station. Spare me your excuses, Serpent. You tried to kidnap Miss Mensch. She broke up with me. Yes, she has rights to do that. You're kind of <laughs> <laughs> that's totally what she says, too. That's her, that's her choice. Bro. Oh, come on, Scorpion. You're totally gonna turn me gay. <laughs> By this time the police have arrived, you hand the Serpent over. Thank you again. You really are a superhero. Yes, that's what I do. <coughs> and may I have your autograph? Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Let's just head home. The crime watch will buzz if it wants to fucking talk to me. <coughs> okay, the poison wears off. I got the skill points back. I got six stamina points back. Um, the menu will show me my health and stuff. My skill is fine. Eight out of eight. Apparently... I... I... Why is this an out of thing? Why is skill an eight out of eight? Four luck, eleven hero points. What now, hero? Back to the story. Actually, you know what? <laughs> this this video has probably run long, run long enough, so let's let the next morning happen next time, and you'll see whether I actually keep my resolution to skip work entirely and get fired. Um, see y'all later. <laughs>